Well, Crewe picked up a creditable point at Gillingham on Good Friday, but one win in six remains well short of promotion form for Lee Bell's men. The home fans have arrived hoping and expecting their team to pick up a much-needed three points against a Forest Green Rovers side struggling to survive at the other end of League Two. The visitors running out of time. Four points from safety and having played two games more than Colchester, who sit for now the right side of the dotted line. League Two's lowest scorers will be hoping to keep things tight and maybe play on the anxieties of their hosts, but they're going to need a lot to go for them this afternoon to pick up three points. Well, Cruz form recently has been slightly lacking, but at home they are still pretty formidable. They've lost just four times on their own patch this season. Deutsch always stolen that. And it could be an early chance here for Forest Green Rovers. It's Garrick. And it's the opening goal for the visitors. Jordan Garrick, after Deutsch pounced on the mistake. And all of a sudden, there's a little bit of hope. Turns, losing the ball. And Garrick sensing the opportunity just as soon as Deutsch has won it. Through the legs of the goalkeeper for 1-0. Great start. Well, Forest Green Rovers win. Can't have been on many coupons this afternoon. It's a telescopic leg comes out to win it back here for the away side. Garrick full of beans after his goal, closing things down. But Adebisi will bring this away for Crew Alexandra. Still going. Really being closed down, allowed to cross. And Innes gets ahead on it, turns it behind for a crew corner. It's a high one to the back post. Could be a chance here. Reyes there to make the stop. Well, it comes to long. Forest Green Rovers just don't seem to react. Thankfully, their goalkeeper was there to do the business. Long from the goalkeeper, but that's to no one in particular. Adebisi once more. Continuing his run, trying to get some support to Kirk, who brings it inside. Well, that's one, two deflections. And it's going to be another corner. That could have gone anywhere. Kirk trying to play it through. Almost creating a goal himself. Another corner for Forest Green Rovers to defend. It's a strong header away. The home side still looking to press the issue here. Tracy. That cross is blocked. Still with it though. That's a hanging cross, which is just about away as Osterfield goes for it. And then Moore Taylor with the acrobatic clearance. Having to stretch every sinew at the moment, Forest Green Rovers, to keep Crew Alexander out. And they're just about doing it. Holicek. Lee Bell, after just three goals in five games, saying there are goals in this Crew Alexander side. They defend at the moment. That's a nice ball. Here's Thompson, working the angle for the cross. And headed behind by Dimitriou, corner Forest Green Rovers. And it comes then, and it's attacks it, and it's in. It's a second. Innes takes the congratulations, but it came off Garrick before it went into the net. Forest Green Rovers doubling their advantage here. Strong header from Innes and Garrick. Well, it just came off his thigh, didn't it? Well, Steve Cotterell would have dreamed of something like this sort of start. Garrick on a hat trick already. Sets it back to McCann. 
It's a good cross. It's a third. It's Jamie Robson. Well, I think we can safely say that Forest Green Rovers are in dreamland now. Three goals to the good. We've barely played half an hour. Well, as this comes back to McCann, he's got all the time in the world to pick his cross out. There is Robson guiding it into the bottom corner. Well, after their defeat to Stockport on Good Friday, Steve Cottrell was saying it would have been easy to scream and shout at his side, but some of them are lacking confidence in his squad and says they need support. Well, that approach looks to be paying off handsomely at the moment. We've still got plenty of defending to do in this second half as Tracy sends it on and Rowe just across the face of goal. Decent effort this. Through with playoff ambitions. Need to turn this around in the second half and that's a decent effort. As he be dispossessed. Here's Tracy. Crew with a bit more intent in this second half. Multiple changes. Here's one of them. Cooney lifting it in. Help towards goal. Oh, what a brilliant save that is. And another fine header as well. Well, Reyes doing brilliantly to preserve his clean sheet here as Nevitt meets it. Point blank range. Still, Forest Green Rovers defending strongly, but it's Kirk! Well, how did that stay out? Well, the home fans think it's gone in. It's not going to be given. An outrageous attempt by Kirk. And it nearly came off. Crossbar and post and, well, just about on the line. Another effort from range coming in. Thompson gets back to his feet. He'll have more defending to do here to try and block what, what might have been a cross. But in fact, they've gone short. And Reyes with another stop. Still crew coming at Forest Green Rovers. Is that a handball? The home fans pleading with the referee, who's not going to give anything. Well, let's just have a quick look at this uh, latest chance. Another save from Reyes, who's having an excellent afternoon. Long from the goalkeeper. We're still trying to find something, but time really running out. Armatoy now taking this on for Forest Green Rovers. In towards Robson. Oh, he's close to a second for himself and a fourth for Forest Green Rovers. You can see him calling for it. Not an awful lot to aim at. Nearly found the top corner. Well, there is the full-time whistle. That is a huge three points that keeps Forest Green Rovers' survival hopes alive. The odds still stacked against Steve Cotterill's side. And then again, few would have given them much of a chance of getting the three points here. Jordan Garrett with the brace. Jamie Robson with the third. And they held on with some dogged defending, some excellent goalkeeping and a little bit of luck as well. Not the sort of luck you normally get at the bottom of the table. But they have given themselves some hope. A long way to go, but this is a big big three points.